Hey guys, thank you for coming to my channel, Healing to Express. We're going to go ahead and get a message for our air signs, but we're going to start with our Geminis. Also, like, subscribe, and share, guys. Thanks to the new subscribers. Really appreciate you guys. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, come into my space. Give me clear and true messages. For our Gemini, what's coming, what's going on in this new moon for them, new moon in Pisces. Messages for Gemini. All right, we got, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. New moon in Pisces for Gemini. We have hold your vision, fixed moon. It's time to hold your vision, Gemini. New moon in Pisces for Gemini. Emotions are running high. Super moon sounds about right with this Pisces. This new moon in Pisces, okay? It deals with, you know. Passion, it deals with poetry, it deals with soulmate, it deals with romance. Alright, let's see what else comes out for you guys. This is the Chakra Oracle deck. Alright, Spirit, what other messages do we have? Clarify, it's time to take action for Gemini. We got Miracle and we got Rejection coming out. Hmm. Hold your vision. Why is that here? We got Victim. Wow. Emotions are running high. We got Service and Vanity. At the bottom of the deck, we got Passion. So let's just read and see what this is talking about. Tell me about miracles and rejection. So maybe you feel like if you take action, you're going to be rejected. Let's just see. All right. The brightest of all thoughts resides in the sun. As natural radiance stems from pure integrity. Be honest and forthright no matter what. With the energy of the sun, a miracle awaits. You know what is authentic. Trust this. So you need to trust that taking this action, whatever action you're needing to take, that you're going to have a miracle. That's what I'm getting from that. Just take what resonates, guys, and leave the rest. I got rejection. It says, you no longer need to prove yourself. This is about understanding who you are and what you have created. Ivory allows others into your life. Choose wisely. Wow. So maybe you need to figure out, you know, choose wisely with the people, you know, that's in your life. Maybe somebody feels like they need to prove themselves to someone. Maybe that's why they're not taking action. Right? We got hold your vision and then we got victim come out. It says to grow into a tree, a plant, a planted acorn must be fully brown. A green acorn is an indication that you may need growing in a more solid plan to achieve what you truly desire. Are you trying to create something before you are ready to do so? Wow. So, it's saying hold your vision, but it's like, are you trying to create something that you're not ready for? You still feel like a victim in it? Take it how it resonates, guys. We have emotions are running high. It was clarified by vanity and service. So, let's see what this... Okay, we got service. The energy here is one of manifesting through being of service. 
This card indicates a steadfast ability to stay the course emotionally and create something sustainable and lasting. It can also bring to light not seeing or valuing what you have. Wow. So maybe somebody's not valuing somebody, okay? And then we have vanity. Balance between what is true in our heart and what we communicate is reflected. Are you living and communicating your truth or just playing along? This may be a time of awakening to a new way of being. Be aware of distractions that may pull you away from the true you. Wow. Let's see. Let's get some tarot and see what's going on, guys. for our Geminis. Maybe somebody's hiding their emotions, okay? But the new moon in Pisces, it deals with emotions. <laughs> it talks about facing your fears, okay? Maybe you need to heal some situations that's in your life. Could be childhood wounds. Take it how it resonates. Alright? Why is take time? It's time to take action here for Gemini. Miracles and rejection. Why is that here? Okay, yeah, it's about a lover. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we got the lovers coming out with the three of wands. So somebody's ready to get out of their comfort zone. They're ready to take action and move forward. Maybe someone had to make a choice. But this is a soulmate, okay? Divinely guided relationship. You see the angel bringing these two together? Yeah. Wow. Take time. It's time to take action. Yeah, but you're stuck in your head. And this is a mental conflict. This is not something someone tied you up. There's nobody else out here. Okay? So you need to get out of your head, Gemini. Yeah. It's time to move forward. you weighed down by dark thoughts. Maybe you're feeling you're going to be rejected and you're not going to be rejected. Yeah, we got the devil at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with some addictions, okay? That could be holding you back. You could be feeling like you're bound to someone else. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. You can also be focusing on, you know, material things. Just having negative thinking. That's what I'm getting from this. You're just thinking negative. What you're thinking is not even like that. All right, wise, hold your vision here and get them. Yeah, wow, we got the Six of Cups coming out. This could be a past life relationship. Okay, maybe you saw yourself with this person. The Six of Cups deals with nostalgic, okay? Thinking about the person, it talks about being playful, carefree, okay? Being very joyful, holding your vision. What else, Spirit, for our Gemini? New Pis I mean, new moon in Pisces. Yeah, we got Ten of Wands. This could be a burden you put on yourself, or this is just a burden that you've been carrying. But you're closer to your breakthrough, Gemini, than you actually know. Celebration is here. Reconciliation is here. Yeah, new beginning, okay? A fresh start. This is what the new moon in Pisces is all about, having a fresh start. Being creative, F feeling highly motivated and energetic to do, okay, what you desire to do. Taking quick action, okay? Yeah. Listening to your intuition. <laughs> the high priestess is here. Using the knowledge and the wisdom that you have gained, okay? You got to continue to hold your vision, Tell me about emotions are running high, vanity and service for our Gemini. Yeah, we got the Page of Pentacles coming out. Hmm. So somebody's feeling inspired, okay? Maybe they want to bring in an offer to you. 
talking about Gemini, New Moon, and Pisces. Service and vanity. Why is that here? Okay, we got the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Page of Cups in reverse. Hmm. So maybe somebody's dealing with childhood issues. Okay? A, a family dynamic. Maybe they don't have a lot of income. Maybe this is why their emotions are running high. Okay? Yeah. The Ten of Pentacles also talks about creating wealth, you know? Having a strong foundation. Yeah, we got the seven of swords in reverse. Somebody's ready to take responsibility and have a fresh start. Coming clean about a situation. Wow. What else is going on? New moon and Pisces for Gemini. Yeah, we got the four cups. Somebody's bored in the situation. Maybe somebody's deciding to focus on what is important now. Okay? Take it how it resonates. What's the most like outcome for the spread for a Gemini? New moon and Pisces. Alright, so we got the Hermit coming out. So maybe you're going to do some more soul searching, trying to get enlightened about a situation. Maybe you're going to go into solitude, okay? Getting some guidance. You had a sudden ending in your life that has taken place. And you're ready to become grounded, okay? You want stability in your life. Yeah, the King of Pentacles is someone that is very abundant, okay? Okay? Someone that know how to manage their wealth. Very confident in attracting. Yeah. Wow. So let's get some affirmations for you guys. Remember, take what resonates. But it's time to take action, Gemini. It's time to hold your vision and your emotions are running high. What other messages we have for Gemini? We got gratitude. We got passion. Anything else, spirit? No, no. All right. And we got attract. So it says, I have the attitude of gratitude for many gifts within my life, and I express my gratitude in many fascinating ways. I live each moment of my life with passion, joy, and enthusiasm, and I do this in many ways. We got attract. I attract abundance into my life each day from all distractions, directions, and limitless ways. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we got desire. I live a life of desire, passion, and joy. This is brought to my attention and in many ways. This is the message I have for you, Gemini. Like, subscribe, and share, guys. And remember, take what resonates and leave the rest.